hey my most amazing artist so for this lesson we are going to be mixing some science and some art together um, and we are going to be making marbled prints so for this what you need is a piece of paper and I like a little bit of a thicker paper um, but if you don't have that uh, printer or copy paper will will work just fine. Um, I'm also going to get shaving cream. Okay. If you have sensitive skin, uh, if your skin reacts to anything being on it, what you can do is wear gloves um, or just be careful not to really touch this. I got the sensitive one because I have sensitive skin. And then you can use... I have these liquid watercolors. So this is what we use in class a lot when I put them in these trays. Uh, now, if you don't have liquid watercolors, it's okay. I assume that you probably don't um, because I am art crazy and I have every art supply in my house. So if you don't have that, uh, food coloring works perfect for this, okay? And like I said, we're gonna be making marbled prints. So we're gonna use that shaving cream, put some food coloring or liquid watercolors on top. We're gonna kind of swirl it around and then we're gonna print. All right, so let's get started. Okay, so I also forgot to mention that you need a pan of some sort or some type of tray that does have a lip on it. You want it to have some height so that you don't get shaving cream or food coloring anywhere. Uh, besides that tray. Now I lined mine with aluminum foil just to protect it. Um, you're also going to need a fork. You can use a plastic fork. You can use or some type of like stick. So like you could use the back of a paintbrush um, or even a pencil um, or a pen. Okay. But you want something to be able to kind of make your designs on the shaving cream. And then last, you need something to scrape your paper. So I would prefer to use a ruler. A ruler is a great um, thing to just scrape off that paper and make it a lot easier. My ruler has disappeared. I think my dog hid it from me. But I'm gonna use just like this old card. You can use a gift card or an old credit card of your parents um, to scrape off the shaving cream. So I'm gonna shake up my shaving cream and I'm only gonna use half of my pan. So. I'm gonna put that on, okay? And I'm gonna take my fork and I'm gonna kinda spread it out just a little bit to make it a nice and smooth surface. Just like that, and I might make it a little bit wider because you want your paper to be able to fit on the whole part. So I'm just gonna kinda spread it out just a little bit, just like that, that's perfect. And I always wipe my shaving cream off on the side. Now I'm going to take both my food coloring and my liquid watercolors. So again, use what you have, okay? And I'm just gonna do a few dots, okay? Nothing too crazy. So I have a little food coloring and then I want some pink. So I'm gonna add some pink on there. And then once you have a few drops, you're gonna be taking that fork and you're gonna be making designs. Okay, so now I'm just gonna take it and you can kind of swirl it. You can make any type of design that you want and you're gonna get your colors mixed together and that's totally okay. All right, but again, you can make any design that you want. You can use any colors that you want or that you have at home. Um, you can even try it with regular watercolors. I don't know if it would show up as bright um, as those liquid watercolors or as the food coloring, but it's always worth a try. It doesn't hurt to test things out. But once you have your design how you want, I really like this. I like all the textures and you can really see how the colors are mixing. You're gonna take your paper and you're gonna really kind of press it on to your paper, okay? And then you're gonna gently Peel it up. Whoa, so messy. And then you are gonna take that card or that ruler and you're gonna scrape off 
all of the extra. And you always want to scrape one way. Okay. And then you are left with a beautiful marbled piece of paper. Okay. And you can use the same shaving cream and make different, um, different patterns and use it again. So let's try it one more time. I love that. That came out really pretty. And you can even put back that extra from your card, but I'm gonna make this one a little bit more blue. I want some more blues in there. So again, you can use liquid watercolor or use food coloring, okay? Use what you have at home. Don't feel like you always have to use the exact same stuff I do. It's always fun to experiment and just try things out because you never know what could work. So now I'm gonna kind of make, I'm gonna go back and forth this way. Loving that, okay? And now I'm gonna wipe off the extra. There we go. Okay, I like that. So now I'm gonna take my paper again. I'm gonna smash it. Just like that, make sure the whole paper is covered. And then lift, oh, and it always looks like it's not gonna come out until you scrape all of that extra off. So, and remember to scrape one way. And you can wipe the extra off on the side. So now I have two marble papers. So now I'm done getting all messy. Oh, I just got some on my nose. <laughs> but now I'm done getting messy and I'm left with two beautiful marble papers. How cool is that? I love it so much. And so you could make these into like those postcards that I said in my last video. Um, you can draw things on top. You can make these however you want, but make sure you let them dry a little bit before you do anything else to them. Um, you don't want to go directly after you've wiped off the shaving cream uh, because sometimes other materials will kind of melt into it. Um, but I think it'd be so cool to do something with pen or ink or some type of marker on top of this. It'd be so cool. Or you can even cut it out and use something like this for that abstract landscape or a collage or an abstract anything. Um, so definitely cool. Make sure you guys are sending me your pictures of your artwork too. I have some of you that have already sent things to me, um, but my email is at the bottom of my website. So you can just click that and email me right away or if your parents are on Instagram, they can follow my um, art teaching Instagram and you guys can send me pictures that way. But I want to see what you're making. Okay. Love you guys.